Okay, right. so this is the gray go, and it, does it go to 30 pounds? Yes. It's, oh, um, it's brand it's new. We have five certified pounds. child passenger safety technicians that are employed here at the Summit County Health Department. And as certified technicians, we, by appointment only, every Friday, we will check car seats. So let's just see if you can undo that one now. We work in injury prevention, and one major component of you know, preventing injuries is to make sure that all children are safe when they're riding in a vehicle. The majority of people that come in here have, if they bring a car seat that they have installed, it usually has one to two errors on it, if not more. I have probably, in six years of doing this, probably had a handful of car seats that have come in 100% correctly installed. So I'm checking out what kind of system you have. You have a switchable retractor. What is the most common mistake? Not understanding how to lock your seat belt and how to change it into a locking mode so that it will lock the car seat in place in the car. So that's still pretty loose. So we start with infant seats and we go right through the booster seat stage. And that is a neglected age. And so we're, we really try to do pushes to get more kids sitting in booster seats because most kids need to be in one until they're about 8 to 10 years old. 8 to 10? Yeah. I a booster seat. In the, the back of the, the station wagon, uh, you know, at that age. Yeah. The child needs to be four foot nine. That's the general rule of thumb. So that can take a kid up to about 10 years old sometimes. And the shoulder belt needs to come up over their shoulder and not cut them off on their neck. So, yeah, we educate on all levels of car seat safety. The carrying handle on most seats has to be down when you're traveling, but some of the newer seats, and this is a brand new one on the market, may say that you could have it up, so we'll have to consult your owner's manual on that. We also have a program called Rosie's Car Seats for Children. It was started by three Park City mothers here in, in the valley to provide a car seat to anyone that did not have one that needs one. And so they run that program through the health department. So that keeps us mostly busy as people coming in wanting a car seat through the Rosie's Car Seat Program. And we just ask for a small donation when we give away those seats to continue to fund this program. So if anyone is interested, they can call the Summit County Health Department at 435-615-3910. And then just say you want a car seat and we can get you an appointment as soon as we can.